Hello and welcome to the Harmony Dance Diffusion Fine Tuning Demo. What is the process of fine tuning? It's taking an existing model that's already been trained and slowly replacing the sounds that are in the model with the training samples that you provide. Can you train a model from scratch? You can, you simply elide the checkpoint path when we do the training at the end there. However, it will take quite a long time and there's not many advantages to it so we recommend fine-tuning. I'm going to presume that we've already seen the other videos and tried the inference therefore you know how to go onto collab, do github, that type of thing. The links for the model are going to be in the description, the links for the github and the links for the fine-tuning so feel free to check out the link. So here we are at the github and as you can see Harmony Dance Diffusion model. Today we're going to be doing the fine tuning notebook. Open that in Collab, and I'm going to presume that you've logged in. You can press on the triangles to open this section. Here you can see we've got license, and we're just going to collapse that. First thing we're going to do is run setup, and we could collapse the setup and run it all as one, or we can. In this case, I'm just going to show the pop-ups that occur. We are going to run it anyway. As you can see here, the GPU has been shown. To the next section would be prepare folders. This enables the link to Google Drive. Also, if you just want to save the models that we generate to Google Drive, and click that option there. If you want to save the models that you generate to your artifacts folder in Weights and Bias, then that's an option that you can click here. Most people would probably just want that there. Also, to install the dependencies, the next section, these are just the libraries that we need in place in order to be able to do the training. Okay, I can close the section using the twisty here. And I'm just going to press go on them all. I'm going to confirm the pop-ups that come up. Yes, we want to connect to Google Drive, give it an account and confirm it. As you can see, a tick mark appeared at the bottom there. So we're ready to move on to the training. Now, just before we run the main training file, we are going to have to actually log in to weights and biases to do some Tracking. So if we just run this optionally here. Well, I'll have a quick look at weights and biases now, and the link will be in the description. Here I've gone to the settings so that you can see where you must recover your API key from. Copy this when you need to log in. Bob in your API code. Okay, so on to training. A few options here that probably bear description, so we'll go through them relatively slowly. This is going to be the name for the fine tune checkpoint. Give it a name that you want. Next up is the path to the director of the audio data to use for the fine tuning. If you click here, then you can open the file section and then as you can see, because we mounted Drive, it's here under Drive. In my case, I've already previously chunked it, and the video for chunking is available. The link is in the description. I'm going to go to the files that I chunked, my chunked files, and I'm going to copy the path. This puts the path that we need in, in my copy buffer, as you can see. So we're going to close this off now. Next up is the path to the checkpoint file that we're going to be fine tuning on. We will need a copy of this file. And assuming that you have already run inference, then you may well already have a copy of this file in this folder. If you need to check, then you can just open up your drive again, navigate to where it says, which is be AI models, and check that you have actually got a copy here. If you haven't, then you can run the command 
I'll put one in the description that will just grab you a copy locally. You don't have to use this particular checkpoint. You can use any checkpoint at all that's available from here or on our Discord. There is some community provider models that are also available. Next up is the path for saving the fine tune outputs to is where the CKPT files will be saved. Once again, you can have a look inside here and see that inside this fine tune folder, these are the type of outputs that you're going to expect. When fine tuning a file, automatic audio demos will be generated for you inside weights and biases. If we go to the main weights and biases page and go to projects, then you can see that audio demos are generated as the training occurs. These demos occur every 250 steps times the amount of accumulated batches that you have. You can lower this value if you require demos more frequently. This is the amount of training steps that are taken between saving a CKPT file into the output folder that we indicated above. Again, this is multiplied by the accumulated batches at the bottom here. The sample rate you'd like to train the models at is the next option displayed. You can set this to anything you like. The default here is 48K. The next option is the number of audio samples per training sample. The default here is 65,536. That allows you to get a batch size of two when training on approximately a one second sample. That's the default that we provide for the 16 gigabyte collabs. This can be adjusted to 131072 and a batch size of one and still actually train on 16 gigabyte. Today we're going to look at 65,536 at approximately one second sample batch size of two and the defaults accumulate batches of four one question you might ask is how many files is a good amount well there is no minimum or maximum amount of files that you can provide they're really limited by your hardware and how many files you've got it's fair to say that the more files you provide the less likely overfitting where perfect copies of the training data are reproduced will actually occur. But perhaps the best answer is provide as many as you can. And when chunking, you can lower the spacing value to something like 0 0.2 and create a lot more subcopying of the original data. See the chunking video for details. The next option is random crop. We will be leaving this on today. It just steps inside the audio chunk that you've provided takes a random crop out the inside of it of sample size. If you're doing something like a drone one shot and you're certain that it's going to be first beat aligned, then turn off random. Most generally people will be wanting that. Next up is the batch size to fine tune. That's how many will be in the group of samples that you take at one time before calculating a backward pass based on the new values Accumulated batches there will also be taken into account. With two and four, we've effectively got a batch size of eight. The maximum amount of batch size that you can have is limited by GPU size, and in this case, two times six five five thirty six is the maximum that you can fit a sixteen gig, and twice that in a batch size of one. Same. If you halved this, which you can, then you could have a batch size of four. A stated accumulated batches here is the final option. It accumulates gradients over a number of batches. It's useful for training on one GPU, and that's the case here. Just remember the effective batch size is batch size times accumulated batches. Okay, if we just press go on this here, as you can see, everything starts up as you'd expect. Draws the states from the checkpoint path. And we're training. This process will run forever. Checkpoint files will be saved to the output folder that we indicated earlier. That will occur for the amount of steps that we talked about. You might ask, once you've 
save something off, how do you resume the run after stopping? You can just take your last save checkpoint, put it into the checkpoint path, and resume the run again. The training. If you've got this far, that's it. You know, training a model. Certainly hope this video was helpful and, and thank you for your time today. Good luck with all your training adventures.